Right, here's what's happening right now. Let's walk in and show you the Republican House Caucus. This is where all the members of the Republican Party in the House are getting briefed on this plan. They haven't been part of the negotiations or anything like that, but now they are, they are and uh, they're getting the lowdown on the plan that they will probably now vote on uh, on Friday when the second sets the continues. Also, the three superintendents of the Johnson County big districts, Blue Valley, Shawnee Mission, and Olathe, are reluctantly supporting this plan, even though, as we reported earlier this week, they are going to be in line for a cut in their budget, a cut in the budget of, in fact, every school district in the state of Kansas. This is what Republican leaders were hoping for, an efficient day of legislating. This plan is a $38 million fix that includes a one-half percent school budget cut for every district and state, being the toughest part for the superintendents to swallow. That's exactly right. Uh, we believe this is a one-year solution to a very short-term issue. But others are not sure. They worry this cut could become permanent, and KCK wonders if the Supreme Court will accept any more cuts. I'm more concerned about the across-the-board 0.05% cut of all districts. Outside, about 200 protesters called for more money for the schools. Jen Vogelman is a teacher in this crowd. She's from KCK. I think any kind of cut is not a good solution at all. But that appears to be the plan, a 38 package that also has pl the plan, the momentum, and apparently the votes so that lawmakers here in Topeka on day two of the special session will probably cast votes on the plan that's being under discussion right now, right behind me. Michael Mahoney, KNBC 9 News, Topeka.